Okay, so in this tutorial, I'm going to show you four add-ons that have been implemented back into Blender 2.8. If you've been using Blender for a while, you've probably already heard of these, but if you're new and you haven't heard of these, these are going to be great for jump-starting some of your modeling and process and cutting out some of that work. So to get to the add-ons, right here, you're going to click Edit, and then Preferences, and then right here on this, you're going to see Add-ons. So all the add-ons we're messing with, they're going to be right here in this section, and to to activate them, you're going to click this box, and then you're going to click Save Preferences if you don't want to go back in and click it every time, or if you're only going to be using it this once, then don't click Save Preferences. So the first thing we're going to add is the Extra Objects add-on, and it's really cool. There's some stuff missing that was in 2.79, but the new stuff in 2.8 is also really, really cool. So let's click the box. I'm going to be using this a bunch, so I'm going to click Save Preferences. So to use them, click Shift-A on curve and you have all these options. We're not gonna mess with these. These are really, really simple. I'm gonna mess with right here on the knots, the torus knot plus. So we already get this really interesting thing, but right here on operator presets, we have some really cool stuff that you can play with, just playing with how they react in the scene and just doing weird things to them. You can go in here, snowflake, you can play with that and you can uh, mess with how they look. There's another exciting one and that one's called Curve Profiles, actually Curve Spirals. You just click one of those and turn down the uh, steps. I'm gonna give it three steps so we can make a triangle. So you can make some interesting line art if you really finagle this. Um, turn up the turns a bunch and then right here on Radius Growth, just play with it and now you get all this interesting stuff. You can click the height and make it like that and then you can go into the curve settings and add some geometry to your piece and now you have this interesting model really quickly and I don't know how I would model that without this add-on so you really get some cool stuff with this okay so the next one we're gonna add is called the sapling tree gen so that one's really fun you go to the curves right here you're gonna see it click it and automatically you get a really cool tree but you, that's not the only one you have you have a bunch of ones you got Douglas fir down here in the presets you got small maple and you have this and you want to add some leaves you go where it says geometry and just add leaves click show leaves and then you can mess with the leaf scale if it's not where you want it and now you have a quick quickly have this tree and you can add it to your scenes really quickly and iterate and add them to particle settings and it's super super fun and there's a lot of other settings that I didn't touch that you can really customize your trees Okay, so the next one is my favorite. It's called ANT Landscape, and it helps you throw in a bunch of really cool landscapes. So let's click it, and then go Shift A, hit Landscape, and we're gonna zoom in here. We're gonna click this right here, and we have tons of presets. We have gully, we have mounds, all kinds of stuff that we can play with, add to our designs. Um, there's abstract, this one is weird. It's interesting. I'll probably never use it. There's this. There's all kinds of stuff that you can play with. And if you want to change it and add multiple ones, you can click random seed and it gives you a different version of that similar design. Okay, so the last one is for the hard surface or architecture guys, and that's called Bolt Factory. So you can go in, mesh, and click bolt. And here you go. And you can mess with the thread settings. You can go in thread length, make it bigger, you can do that, mess with that, and you can get your own custom bolts and add it to your designs and use it for whatever you want to use. So that's it. Those are the four add-ons that you can play with. I'm still waiting on tissue tools and cell fracture, so Blender is still in the beta. They're still not done adding things, but while you're waiting, you can play with these and get to know them and learn a little bit about modeling. And yeah, there you go. Thanks for watching.